hello everyone and welcome to the channel so if you are following news you must be already aware about that what changes has been made in h1b visa application fee uh, in case if you are not aware about it so us has just introduced a massive hundred thousand uh, dollar like application fee for h1b visa application uh, which is almost equivalent to 88 lakh indian rupees uh, so i'll be talking about what exactly it is how it is going to affect the things around and uh, particularly we'll be talking about students from india uh, masters phds postdocs those who are planning to build their career their research career and those who are planning to come to us so how it is going to affect them okay so we'll be talking about all that in detail so this video is going to be re revolving around that if you have any other questions related to that you can drop down in the comment section below i'll try to answer you over there itself but let's start with it so first of all i want to let you guys know what h1b is okay or what h1b visa exactly is because you must have heard this term a lot so in case if you don't know uh us uh, like in us if you want to apply for a visa or if you want to come there are different visa categories okay every for every visa category there are certain uh, limitations there are certain criteria which you have to fulfill and they also come up with certain benefits or certain limitations like these things you can do with this visa or these things you cannot do with this visa okay so h1b visa is kind of a work permit so if you get a h1b visa in us that means you are allowed to work in us okay so that's how it goes but uh, can you apply for h1b no you cannot directly apply you need a sponsor so who has to pay this fee basically the sponsor has to pay this fee so if you found a sponsor in us let's say you want to work in a company you want to work in a tech company and uh, you were selected in that so they are bringing you from india let's say you are in mumbai and they are bringing you from mumbai to let's say new york so they have to pay a certain amount to the uh, us government and that used to be like four to five thousand dollars which was uh, like somewhere around like uh, four or five lakh rupees uh, for the company has to pay okay and beside that they also have to pay your salary so your salary is separate okay that is totally different this is the cost of bringing you from any other country to us to work so earlier it used to be four to five thousand dollars but now it has been increased to hundred thousand dollars which is almost one lakh dollars which if you convert in indian rupees so that becomes 88 lakh rupees which again you do not have to pay so even if you have 88 lakh rupees you do not have to pay that that fee or that money has to be paid by that sponsor to us government okay so that's how it goes so now why does it matter why this fee has increased so why it should matter you because you are in india you don't have to do anything everything is going to be done by these sponsor okay so they have to pay they have to do all the things but the thing is now it is going to be difficult for a sponsor to pay this much high amount to bring somebody from outside instead of that they will try to look for somebody who is within the country why they are going to pay hundred thousand dollars it's a big amount okay generally like a yearly salary of a particular person is uh, some like the average yearly salary of a person in us is lower than hundred thousand dollars so or almost near to that so you can consider it's a very big amount so a yearly salary of a person they have to pay in advance to bring somebody from any other country okay so it becomes difficult to find a sponsor and that's the cash okay that's the thing which is making things difficult here now since i told you that this is h1b is a work permit or is a work visa so how does it going to affect the students so usually students like masters and phd students they come to us on f1 visa now f1 is another category of visa which is to study to to uh, do higher education like you want to do masters if you want to do phd in us you get f1 visa under f1 visa you cannot work in us you can come they have their own restrictions you can come you can study that's it okay you cannot work over here but in case most of the students who come to us to study they plan to stay a little longer because they are coming on a lot of student loans and also they plan to stay they plan to finish their degrees they plan to find out a job and then stay in us for a little long so that they can earn some money they can repay their uh, like loans and other things now the thing is that uh, to do that again they have to convert their f1 visa to h1b visa so f1 visa goes after f1 visa you have a period called opt period that period is like you are allowed to find job so after your course completes you are given with like two or three years to find out job 
if you belong to stem you get three years if you do not belong to stem just one year so you get the time to find out job nearby if you find a job in us then that job has to or that person or that industry or that company has to sponsor uh, your h1b and then they are going to hire you and then you can work in us so the pathway goes like f1 to opt to h1b that's how it goes okay so now it will be difficult for students students who came for masters students who came for phd it is going to become difficult for them to uh, work over here in us the next is for postdocs so how it is going to affect postdocs so postdocs usually come to us on j1 visa j1 is another category of visa on which postdocs or exchange visitors they are called upon it's a short term visa program and uh, in under this also you cannot work beyond the uh, industry or the company or the institute which is bringing you as a postdoc so you are only allowed to work over there and beyond that you cannot join any other company or like do any other work okay so again the thing is that again it it restricts you to basically go to any other or find a job so in order to find a job again from j1 you have to convert it into h1b so basically to work you need h1b everything goes to h1b uh, in order to work in us you need h1b and uh, with this massive increase in the in the application fee or in the petition fee for h1b sponsors are going to be reluctant to hire people from outside uh, who are not us citizens and uh, this is going to be difficult this is going to make it difficult for uh, students uh, particularly coming from outside of us to build their long term career in us or to work in us now to whom this whole thing is going to affect i hope this is very clearly mentioned in the us secretary websites and all the things but uh, this will be applicable it is not going to be applicable basically to those who already have h1b but the students who are going to be graduated in 2026 and beyond there is no clear instructions about them or a clear detailed instructions about them but they are at high risk uh, because they are going to serve a opt period and uh, again is getting a sponsor is going to be difficult for them now how it is going to affect the industry job so those who are planning to do or join pharma companies in us or planning to join um, biotech companies so again the same thing is applicable there as well they also need to have a sponsor so if you are already are on, on h1b i think there is no issue with that but those who are willing to get a new h1b or those who are planning to get it in future this is going to be difficult for them now what are the alternatives or what are the other ways in which you can still work in us uh, you can still make your career in us so let's talk about them okay this will be particularly uh, like for stem student science technology engineering and mathematics student so first thing is of course you can come on a short term visa like j1 visa j1 visas are where you get a salary so it's not like you are coming to study it's different from f1 in f1 visa which is for masters and phd that is a visa where uh, you do not get a salary but basically you pay a fee to institute and you cover your or you do your higher education but um, a j1 visa is a visa where you get your salary okay but that is a short term visa so j1 is still there you can come here to work on a short term like 3 years to 5 years of uh, j1 visa that's what you can do over here the next thing which is very important for research scholar is a uh, national interest waiver so if your work if your research work if you are a research scholar and if your work is of national interest to us generally work related to like neuroscience work related to like uh, healthcare system so if your work is related to that in that case you are applicable for a waiver and in that case it is not yet clear completely but in that case your h1b visa application can be waived off okay that's one of the way the other way is o1 visa that's again another category of visa which is given to extraordinary uh, performing students or extraordinary performing researchers so if your research profile is too good you have a very good cv you have a lot of citations top journals like you have published papers in top journals so you will apply you can apply for that and it is highly competitive like it is given to a very 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 few number of people but still that's one of the way of uh, getting a work permit for longer duration in us again that has to be like your work has to be useful or it has to be of the nation interest in that case as well now if you are someone who is in masters or who is planning for long term to stay in us or to come to us and build up your career 
what my suggestion will be to build up your cv okay try to make a good cv try to uh, make your impactful cv try to work in a field which is of national interest in that case your chances of getting waiver and all the other things will become easy for you but if you don't want that hurdle and all try to look for alternative places instead of us try to look for other places where you do not have to go through all this mental hassle like places like europe you can look for that you can look for australia you can look for even in asia there are a lot of countries which are offering equivalent research environment so you can look for those places now one more thing i want to say at the end is that this this whatever this uh, new rule or new amendment or whatever thing has been made recently this is uh, this could be temporary okay because it's not yet permanent it is it is put down as a pilot program for one year and we we don't know whether it will be extended or it can be uh, taken back so let's hope if it is taken back then it's good you can come and the things will be very normal like the way it used to be but in case if it is uh, continued then things will be difficult okay so yeah that's also one of the silver lining which you can see that uh, it could be taken back uh, within next few months or maybe after a year so stay tuned for that as well now of course this hundred thousand uh, dollars visa uh, or this particular sponsor fee is a huge amount and it is basically a very impactful thing uh, which is going to affect a lot of research careers uh, many of you who are planning to have a research career in us you might be seeing the differences from now itself like as the time it is going to be implemented so yeah this is difficult but again i would like to tell you that a good research if you have a good research career if you have a good research knowledge that will be valued anywhere you go so keep a backup make your profile strong and uh, don't just look for us as the only option for you keep your options open keep a backup with you okay and uh, that's it for this particular video let's hope for something good which comes up but uh, this is all which we have as of now so if you have any other question you can ask me down in the comment section below i'll try to answer you over there also if you like this video please subscribe to this particular channel and i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care